Hi, my name is Lenny G. Giacella. Welcome to uh, Drumville Studios. This is the second uh, lesson, uh, which is a variation of the first lesson I just did, uh, pertaining to snap-ups, warming up, the very first thing to do when you begin to practice. This was uh, created by um, Joe Picaro and Ralph Humphrey when they uh, were involved in a uh, music school uh, a few years back. So this was in their curriculum, and it's very similar to what I just did, except it's uh, counting of sixteenths. Counting of sixteenths instead. That's what they uh, <clears throat> have uh, come up with, doing it with a sixteenth count. And uh, it's, it's really the same thing, except you're counting like this. Uh, one E, and the foot would be in four. Now the foot in four is a light tap on every quarter note pulse. So you're going to go one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and one E and two E and three E and four. And then the left comes in one E and two E and three E and four E and one E and uh, two E and. 3E and 4E and 1E and 2E and 3E and 4E and. I'm holding the sticks in the match grip like I discussed on the first lesson. Uh, I, people who you know been playing a while uh, usually can play uh, both grips. They might have a preference over one over the other, but uh, you should probably, if you're using both grips, uh, warm up uh, with both grips. Do the match grip first and do the traditional grip uh, second or something like that. Okay, the next part of this is to uh, do almost the same thing, but you're going to go down on the number notes and then snap up the right hand on the ands. I like this one. This, is, uh, this feels really good in your wrist. And you're really, again, putting uh, a lot of emphasis on uh, stretching of the muscle of the wrist and the forearm. So you would go like this. You, uh, let's say if you uh, counted it off, it would be one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and four E and one E and uh, two E and uh, three and uh, four E left. One E and uh, two and three e and four e and one e and two three e and four e and one e and two e and three e and four e and that feels really good in the wrist really feels like you're really stretching stretching those muscles out and then the next part of that would be to um, just do a single strokes. One hand down, one hand up, like this. Um, count off. One E and uh, two E and three E and uh, four E and one E and two E and three E and four E and one E and two E and three E and Four E and one E and two E and three E and four E and one E and two E and three E and four E and once you're comfortable with those um, three uh, three um, variations, then you can stick them together. But when you stick them together, you might want to do them in phrases. Uh, you know, drummers are always practicing uh, in phrases, 4-bar phrase, 8-bar phrase, 10-bar phrase, 12-bar phrase, <coughs> which rela relates to structure of songs. You know, that's how you keep track of where you are in songs, by uh, linking bars together and they become uh, phrases. So, um, I like practicing uh, things in phrases like that. So, you could say, okay, I'll do the first part of it, 4-bar phrase, second, 4-bar phrase, third, 4-bar phrase. Or you could uh, do a longer, uh, eight bar phrases. Or you could do a 10, you could do a 12. Um, how about if I do uh, four bar phrases, 
show you how I'm going to keep track of each bar. It's just putting the number of the bar in front so you know you've done it four times. And then move into the second exercise. So I'll string these three things that I just did together like this. So uh, how about if I go slightly faster too? I mean, this is a warm up and it's not meant to go, you know, you know, you know, you know, not if you, you want to, you, you want to take your time with it. You know, you want to uh, feel everything. So if it's a little slower, you know, you feel things and, and this is a feeling, uh, feeling instrument. You know, it's a mind and body instrument. So uh, you have to do things to get the blood circulating. So you don't want to go too fast at first. So here's uh, the exercises strung together uh, with uh, uh, the snap ups. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and one E and two E and three E and four E and two E and two E and three E and four. Three E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and four E and two E and go right into the next one. Four E and one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, two E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and four E and uh, two and uh, three E and uh, four. The third one. One E and single strokes. Two E and three E and uh, four E and two E and uh, two E and uh, three and uh, four E and three E and uh, two e and three E and uh, four E and four E and uh, two E and uh, E and uh, four E and uh, one. So when you're doing the third step of the second uh, uh, second variation, the second snap up variation, the third step was single strokes. And what's important, I think, to do is to be aware of the stick tip, um, uh, how close you are to the head. So basically, uh, if you make the stroke. And you leave the uh, the stick is level um, to the to the uh, drum head or the pad. Uh, that's fine. That's that's acceptable. So, but you never want to touch the head. But um, you're very close, uh, half an inch, uh, one inch, a half an inch, an eighth of an inch. It could be an eighth of an inch. So if you do it that way, you'd look like this: one e and uh, two e and. 3 E and uh, 4 E and uh, so you're level. But what I think is, is better um, is to do the same thing but have a little decline on the stick where the stick is pointing down. You're just letting it, you know, have a little decline um, in this way because it, it actually brings the tip of the stick slightly closer to the head. And that's good when later on when you start getting into um, playing ghost notes and grace notes. There's a lot of rudiments that pertain to uh, grace notes. Uh, little little uh, light, little soft notes right before a high accent note, like the flam. You know what I mean? The flam. Uh, here's a flam. Right hand flam. Left hand flam. So you want the stick to be very close. So if you practice... Um, the third step uh, of the snap-ups and, and look at your hand and try to have a little decline, you'll get closer to the head like this. One E and two E and three E and four E and one E and two E and three E and four E and and you get a little closer. Okay, you never want this though. One E and you never want the tip of the stick to be pointing up in front. That's bad technique. You don't want that. You want it either level or best yet to me, in my mind, is to have a little bit of a, a, a decline. But either way, level or de having the stick decline is, is fine. 